Welcome to another installment of The Scene Maker. And this one is titled An Antique Scene in Italy. Now this scene is dedicated to my father, Frank James Morrison Sr., who spent considerable time on the front lines in Italy during World War II. He made a difference in this world, especially to the people whose lives he touched in a country torn asunder by war. You will never be forgotten, Dad, nor well the impact you have made on the lives around you. This scene is quite frankly not one of my favorites from a creative standpoint. However, it does have some interesting elements in it. The woman reminds me of an Italian woman with a container of bread at her side and carrying a basket of, of flowers. So, so because of that, I built this to be an antique scene in Italy way back before the dark days of World War II. The female figure is white bisque and was made in Japan and is unpainted. This is not a case where the paint is worn off. I think it was unpainted white bisque originally and giving the woman a distinguished look like like maybe a, a type of marble. The young boy behind her is also bisque and originally was painted, though there is very little of that paint remaining after all these years. Uh, she was probably made in the 1930s and the little boy, I'm thinking 20s or 30s. He is actually part of a bud base and is unmarked uh, as to where he was made. And while he was probably made in Jap Japan, the clothing that the boy wears has a German look to it. And thus, it is possible that he was made in Germany. A lot of fine bisque was made in Germany uh, before uh, Japan kind of took over the industry. As I said, the scene is meant to be Italy circa the 1920s. This is a mother and son moment as they walk past an ancient ruin on this day as an early summer sun touches them both with the healing warmth that God provides. The small structure in the scene is actually an aquarium decoration, but it has the look of being quite ancient, so I thought uh, I brought it into service in this shadow box. There are a number of elements in this scene that I directly crafted. On the building itself is a purplish winged dragonfly. And at the base of the building are two green frogs that don't exactly look like frogs, but they are. <laughs> I never said I was a great sculptor because I am truly not. And then on the corner of the building is a cluster of yellow, um, yellow and red toadstools, which I also made. Those don't look too bad. On the left side of the display is a simulated red brick wall with dormant grapevines clinging to it. The box itself, as most of them that I create, is made of hand-painted heavy-duty cardboard, and the idea behind any display like this is to make it have uh, the ambiance that it is, the scene is a little slice of life. I don't want it to look like cardboard when I'm finished, and it generally does not. But recently I overheard a friend talking about a display I had especially constructed for him, and he said that using cardboard is very, very tacky. Well, maybe so. But as I paint the piece, it is my aim, as I've said, to, to make it difficult to tell what the box is constructed of. I want the person who views it to be taken in by the scene, not the elements of construction. And once the scene is put under glass with a frame around it, it is usually difficult to tell how the box was constructed. And in this case, uh, this frame is pine with a nice oak colored stain. That is about all I can tell you in regards to this particular scene, uh, except that I made it uh, in the summer of 20, 2013. Uh, please remember, if you have items around your place that have special meaning to you, I do build shadow boxes special by request. Uh, so all you have to do is uh, send me an email message through YouTube, and I'll be glad to contact you back and, uh, and give you a quote on its construction. And since 1990, I have sold, and it sounds astronomical to me, but it's true, I have sold over 10,000 scenes and probably about a quarter of the um, of those are by special request. So again, drop me an email, tell you what you have, and I'll be happy to give you a quote. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have an awesome, wonderful day.